So, let's do an example of a conversion that could come up in physics. Uh, so if ABBA flies 60 miles per hour, how many meters does he fly in 15 seconds? So whenever you do a conversion like this, remember, always start with what you know. And I always like to start with the one um, unit that I know. Instead of like, if there's like a miles per hour, that's actually two units that you know that are connected together. I always like to start with the one piece of information that I know, and that would be the 15 seconds. So 15 seconds is our starting point. We know that he's traveling for 15 seconds. So now we want to convert the 15 seconds time to a distance in meters. Well, how do we do that? Well, we look at what's the conversion between distance and time. That's, the, that's his miles per hour. Uh, but before we use that miles per hour conversion, let's first look at the unit for time, which here is seconds, here is hours, so we need a conversion from seconds to hours. So I want to get rid of seconds, so it should go on the bottom. The thing I want on top, or to replace seconds with, would go on the opposite side on top, would be hours. Now here's where I wrote my conversion. How many seconds are in an hour, or how many hours in a second? Well, one hour is 3,600 seconds. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 times 60, 3,600. So now, what I can do is seconds against those seconds, I can figure out how, how many hours they travel. If this is my question, how many hours did Apple travel, travel? This would be my answer. I just multiply 15 times 1, divided by 3,600, this is my answer. But that's not what I'm trying to look for. I'm trying to look for uh, how far does he go. So, I need my conversion here. I know he travels 60 miles in an hour, so I want to get rid of hours. So it goes in the bottom, so one hour. And then I want a distance on top, the miles on top. I know that 60 miles equals one hour. Hours cancels out with hours. And now I can figure out how many miles he traveled. So if the answer, if the question was, how many miles did Appa travel? That's the only unit that's left not crossed out, so miles is left up there. So I can figure out how many miles he traveled. If I don't want miles, I want meters. So I would do one more conversion. So I want to get rid of miles, so it goes in the bottom. And then I want meters on top, so I put that um, to replace it. Miles cancels out miles, so then I know that everything cancels out. The only thing that's left is meters, so it tells me, hey, I did it right. If I, if I put this conversion here, multiply them out, get that answer, then I know that my answer is going to be in meters. So I know one mile is 1,609 meters. Uh, those that run track know 1,600 meters is, is a mile or about a mile, uh, so it's just kind of rough estimate. It's actually 1,609 point something. So now I know everything cancels out. I would take 15 times 1 times 60 times 1,609 equals divide by 3,600, uh, um, divide by 1, divide by 1, it equals, and you get your answer in meters. So I did all the calculations. Uh, I got an answer of 402 meters. Think about that. He runs all the way around the track in 15 seconds. Or flies all around the track. Arrgh.